all right so in this video i will be building this circuit uh, which is like exercise 2 this shows that build the following circuit simulate the circuit and submit the screenshot of oscilloscope output so see uh, we have connected oscilloscope because we know that there is ac involvement when we are using function generator that means there would be a kind of waveform right so we need to visualize that waveform so in that case we need multisync but in that case in the previous video what i did i will i did i just connected multimeter because i knew that everything here is dc it's just like constant values i will be looking for so so let's let's start this and this is an amplifier uh, we are using operational amplifier it is similar like transistor but this ic is more like robust ic which is made up of a lot of transistors and it makes our life much easier to design an amplifier right so we need three registers and an operational amplifier IC which is 741 and a function generator and oscilloscope most of the thing that we have already done in transistor based amplifier so what I'm going to do is we have already developed this circuit right so I will just copy it and let's build a new circuit by starting from this so okay so let's delete everything Mm. we don't need batteries uh, we definitely need uh, the ground and we don't need uh, you know multimeter so yeah this is like powering up the IC and let's go to the register so we can search the register uh, yeah so we need three registers okay yeah, that's it and we also need a function generator and an oscilloscope okay so this resistor is 100 k ohm and the third resistor is 200 ohm so this one is 200 ohm okay so yeah so this is inverting amplifier because they see the input that we are giving is at negative terminal so when you give input to the negative terminal we call it as inverting amplifier and what we would expect is that the output would be inverted as compared to the invert input so let's connect that uh, so i will be using register with negative one this positive is connected with ground okay i can connect like this okay that's connected with ground and that ground is also connected with a resistor right so let's yeah this one so this is 100k so i will bring that 200k uh, sorry only 200 to this ground if i can connect it or i can do like this able to do that yeah like this okay so see one end of the resistor is connected with the ground and that ground is connected with positive and the other end is connected with the output so I will connect with output and this resistor is connected with the function generators input and we can directly connect the ground with the common okay and what else we need so we have already provided the power this is okay so this resistor which is like a feedback resistor it's also connected with output and one end is connected with the input of negative terminal right so what should we expect the output so okay let's first set up the input so like we did with the transistor base amplifier let's make it 10 millivolts and see just look at the ratio so if we have so this one the one which is connected with inverted terminal so if this is 100k and this is 1k so if you take the ratio it is like 100 right so that 100 is actually the gain of this amplifier so whatever input you provide it should be multiplied with the 100 and that's what you should get at output so if it is 
10 millivolts so 10 millivolts multiplied by 100 would give you around 1000 millivolts that means around 1 volt so let's connect this okay and i think we are good to go let's run it yeah so now we need to play with oscilloscope and see how we can get the waveform uh, we can like start it a little bit and a little bit amplify it Yes, so let's bring the cursor. For example, this is the peak of that, and you can see this is 2 T2. So T2 gives you around 1 volt, it's like around 1000 millivolts, right? And we can also connect the input and we can compare it. So, what we are giving this as an input, and what we are getting at output. Okay, let's try. So input should be amplified, magnified, yeah. So this is what you need to understand. So let's try it again. Yeah. So if you see this is T2, so T2 is at channel A, which is our output, it's around 987.96 millivolts, and the input is around 10 millivolts, and that's what we want at I, right? So we can also change that. I, you know the reason of adding this circuit was just to let you know that to do amplification you know transistor can be used but it's a lot more easier if you're using this IC so what if I do 100k to 200k let's see if we can get 200 times multiplication yeah so let's bring the cursor isn't it so you can see over here it's around 2000 millivolts or 1.93 millivolts so yeah i hope you got the point thank you